Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how to automate your process. So if you're going and creating a bunch of content and you want to have it disseminate to a bunch of different services, there's a really good trick for that. I'm going to show it to you now. Having a blog is one of the best ways that you can generate out SEO traffic for your website. Writing about things that you know, writing about things that you have experience with really allows customers to get a handle on what you're about to offer them um, and then be able to drive that traffic through your blog back to your website. Now, there are many, many places that you can go and post all your information online, and it can be quite an arduous task if you're trying to post them one at a time every time that uh, you come up with some new content. So I'm gonna show you how to do this uh, with an automated script, essentially. We're gonna use one of the tools that I love to use. Uh, it's called Zapier. It is one of the most useful tools that I use inside my business. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to post a blog automatically to Shopify when you have uh, created that content. So let's hop over to the screen. So on the screen here, uh, we've got our blog. Now I've got my blog of all the videos that I've been creating. And when I go into one of the videos, we can see that it adds my video on the blog and the description that I've put together um, and then publishes it as well. So I want to be able to create this every time I create a YouTube video. I don't want to have to go into blogs, have to go to blog post, create new blog post, and basically copy and paste the information over. We can use a script which is going to show us how to do this all on its own. So what we want to do is we want to go to zapier.com. Um, we're going to need to create an account. Now I already have an account so I can go and continue and log in. But once we've logged in, we're going to create a new zap. So we're going to go to new zaps and we're going to go make a new zap. Now the first thing you need to do when you're setting up a zap is you need to set up uh, the trigger. So when something happens. So the first thing we want to do is since all of my uh, blog uh, type content is coming from my YouTube channel, I want to set up a trigger for the YouTube channel. So my YouTube channel, I'm gonna select my new channel, and then what I wanna do is when a new video gets posted in the YouTube channel, I am going to do an action. So I've gone and verified my account. You can connect an account by logging in and, and doing the information that you need to do that. Save and continue. And then we're gonna set up an option. Now it's asking me to go and grab a little bit of information from my YouTube channel. So I can go to my YouTube channel here, channel and this is the piece that they're looking for we want to take channel to where the first question mark is and we're going to paste that in to the uh, the link or into the field that they supply we're going to hit continue and then it's going to pull some samples down from the channel so basically it's going to pull in the last couple pieces that were posted here so I'm going to go ahead and hit continue because it's got the videos that I want to grab and now we need to have it add a step. So if we go to action, we can now add a step for we want it to post. So since we're using Shopify, Shopify has integrations in with Zapier. You can use the API in order to post things to the correct places. So we can go and hit Shopify. Now the one thing to keep in mind is that they've got this little premium tag next to Zapier here, um, next to the Shopify logo. So that means you have to have a paid Zapier account. You can't do this on the free account. So we're going to hit Shopify. And what we wanted to do is we want to click on show less common options and we want to go down to create a new blog entry. We're going to hit save and continue. And we're going to have to authorize our account through Shopify. So you hit connect account and it will walk you through the steps on how to do that. Essentially you need to go and set up the API information. So you put in your Shopify uh, account in here. So we'll put in our account. And then we'll have to install the Zapier app. So we'll go ahead and install that app. And we're gonna give, we're gonna rename this. So just so that we know which store it's being added to. Okay, now we need to fill out the information that's required for the blog post. So there's a couple required fields that we need. So the first thing we need to do is we need to select blog. Now there's only one blog that's set up on that Shopify store and it's called news. So we're going to select news and then we're going to need to pick the title. Now the title we're going to use is we're going to use the title that's directly coming from YouTube. So if we hit the button on the right hand side here, we can see that title 
is the first thing we wanted to put in there. Now we can add, uh, append this title, we can put as much as we want in here, we can concatenate things together for creating more complex answers, um, but for the most part, we can just simply go in and pick who we want it to be. We need to fill out who the author is, and then the content. So for the content, what we wanna do is we wanna put in the description. So we're gonna put in the description that comes from um, Shopify, or it's not, sorry, the description that comes from YouTube, and then we're gonna need a featured image, so the featured image, I've been choosing the thumbnail image, uh, which is the thumbnail high res, so that it gives us a featured image. So it uses the same image on the blog as we use for the thumbnail on side, uh, inside of YouTube. So we can reuse some of this content that we've already, we've already gone and spent a lot of time creating. All right, excerpt and summary. So this is the summary if you want to have a small tidbit of a summary before you get into the full blog to show up on the blog page. I'm gonna skip that, I don't need to have that in there. Tags, we don't need to tag it with anything. Um, we could potentially tag it if we have multiple blog posts coming in from multiple sources. It might be a good idea to tag this with YouTube so that we know the source so that we can, uh, we can organize it later. And the next thing we wanna do is say yes, we want it published. So we're gonna hit continue. <clears throat> and then the final thing we need to do is we need to test it on Shopify. So we're gonna hit the test button and it's going to go and create our blog. So now what we can do is we can go over to our test store and we can see that is now imported. We can see that is now imported the thing that we're looking for. And that is basically how you use Zapier to quickly automate setting up items inside your Shopify store. You can hit finish and then you give, in, give your Zap a name. So I'm gonna put this under a folder we have for Sumble website and we're gonna go demo store post. We're gonna turn it on and now it's ready to go. It's gonna run every five minutes and every time a new YouTube video was posted to my channel, it will automatically add it to the blog. Thanks for coming by, I hope that this was helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification if that's something that you're into, and we'll see you in the next one.